I'm so sick. Uh, uh, I think I've got <laughs> Southeast Asian Games encephalitis. I'm Ryan, I live in Cambodia, I make videos so you can see what it's like to live in the Kingdom of Wonder, and do you remember last time? I'm so excited. I now I want to go to more events. No, it's really not that important. What is important is the now, the Southeast Asian Games are being hosted by Cambodia, and I'm, I'm just like ba -da -ba -da -ba -da loving it. I've been fighting with the app to get as many free tickets on offer as I can, but then I thought, what about these like 100 events that aren't on the app? How do you get tickets to those? The answer, you don't. You just show up. At least, that was our plan. Along with my friend Jesse the Body, we're going to the National Olympic Complex, and we're gonna be doing some event hopping. Just like that little white bunny that's the mascot. You know, because bunnies hop. Let's go. Y'all don't know people like this. 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 This is the National Olympic Complex, which is never seen in Olympics, but it's got a, an Olympic vibe to it, I guess. We got dropped off at this gate and we strutted into the Sapak Takra event. It's kick volleyball. I was pretty excited to see this because, well, it looks bizarre as hell. We watched Vietnam versus Lao. Just like that, Lao wins, or at least we thought they won. I guess it's actually just one game, part of a match. But there was no time to waste. We headed over to the water polo building where, well, uh, water polo was being played. Just gotta throw it in. <laughs> this is amazing. Guys, this is a sporting team. <laughs> And this was our first encounter with the Thai superfan. TSF. But it certainly wouldn't be our last. <laughs> I 
All right, I'm gonna put my foot on the on the National Stadium pitch. Should I go in bounds? Just with my toe. Boink. Touch the field. I mean, you gotta love Cambodia for access to stuff like this. Their National Stadium. You just cut through here, take a shortcut, head it over to weightlifting. Hey, big thanks to all the volunteers at the SCA Games. I think most of them are students. They were all so friendly and helpful. I want to give you guys a shout out because you did a great job. And maybe if someone pulls this clip and puts it on TikTok, you'll see this. Weightlifting, it was the 67 kilograms men's competition. So men that are 67 kilograms in weight, about 150 pounds, competing to lift weight from the ground to above their head, arms extended. In the next hour, someone would be earning a gold medal. The event consists of two types of lifts, starting with the snatch, which is basically lifting the weight above your head in one continuous motion, no stopping between phases. Feet hip width apart, toes turned out slightly, wide grip, shins practically touching the bar, thighs parallel to the floor, back straight. The next bit happens fast. He lifts the bar using his legs, throws his hips forward, bends his knees again, getting underneath the bar, his body perpendicular to the floor, and he uses his legs to finish the lift. Arms must be locked out and hips and knees must be fully extended. It requires precise balance and a shit ton of strength. Of course, it doesn't always go according to plan. The intensity, the drama, all that weight and the potential for disaster. I found this event very exciting. We've got six competitors, each representing their country. Indonesia, Cambodia, Vietnam, Thailand, Malaysia, and the Philippines. Each competitor gets three attempts at the snatch and their highest weight successfully lifted will be their score for the snatch, which will eventually be combined with their clean and jerk score for a total score, the highest score wins. The order that they go in depends on the lifters and how much they are planning to lift, and that's where Cambodia comes in. While many of the SEA Games events are tailor-made for Cambodia, this event isn't a, no pun intended, strong one for them. Their representative for this weight class was the first to lift, and the second, and the third, only because all other competitors were planning to lift more weight. Nevertheless, a good effort by the local, but it was clear that they weren't going to be placing in this event. Since we happened to be sitting in what seemed to be the Vietnam fan zone, I decided to cheer for them. The Vietnam fans were into it, especially this guy. We'll call him Viet Fan. Viet Fan. Things were looking good, but then I heard a familiar call. It was TSF. TSF. At the end of the snatch round, it was Thailand in the lead, followed by Indonesia, the Philippines, Vietnam, Malaysia, and Cambodia. Thailand and Indonesia both lifted 136 kilograms, so they'd both be going into the clean and jerk round with 137 points. However, the Thai lifter did it first, so he gets to claim that number one spot. Just as a point of reference, 137 kilograms is about 300 pounds, about the weight of Newman from Seinfeld. Hello, Newman. <laughs> the clean and jerk. I mean, props to me for not making any sexual jokes during this event. The clean and jerk is similar to the snatch in that the lifter takes the weight from the floor to above their head, arms extended. However, this time they must pause when the bar is at their chest. That's the clean. There's a pause. And that's the jerk. Vietnam successfully lifts 162 kilograms. Thailand one-ups them with 163 kilograms. 
The lifter from Indonesia attempting 167 kilograms and the lead. But Thailand isn't done yet. They up it to 168 kilograms. Indonesia has one last attempt. They're going for 170 kilograms. This will put them in the lead. Unfortunate. The best they can hope for now is a silver medal. Thailand's last lift. They're looking to pad their lead. But wait, doping troll steps in. Oh, he's just taking a photo. With that miss, the Thai lifter's final score remains at 305. That's 137 kilograms for the snatch and 168 kilograms for the clean and jerk. But it's not over yet. Vietnam still has one lift to go, but they're going to have to lift 176 kilograms to get the gold. That's five kilograms higher than Thailand's last failed attempt. Here in the Vietnam fan zone, it is buzzing. If he succeeds, it's gold. If he fails, it's a bronze. Success! What an effort. The crowd goes wild. It looks like he gave it all he had. They bring out a banner to block the possibly injured athlete from the crowd. Oh no, something terrible has happened. Viet Fan runs up onto the stage waving his flag. After the event, the Thai superfans posed for a photo with the Vietnam superfans. Two countries showing respect for one another. They probably don't even speak the same language, but they share a passion and that's what it's all about. It was an amazing way to end the day, but the games were not over for me. I had one last event to attend. The finals of the men's football, Thailand versus Indonesia. But this gold medal game wouldn't be as respectful this one was going to be a battle. Stay tuned for my final Southeast Asian Games video and take care. Pump your hair. Prefer when I'm by myself. I don't wanna hang around y'all. Good health. One day I'm really gonna ball. Fuck around and buy the whole mall. Breaking that cake. Flexing 700 in the bank. Not a superhero, I'm safe. Look at my face. Look at my grades. Don't match up.